bit of a mystery. Uh, I'm from Toronto, Canada. My parents on my mom's side are from Ukraine, but my father always claimed to be Russian. I'm from uh, Rustavi, Georgia. Except we found his parents' document papers and they said they arrived from Pinsk. What is your favorite Eastern European food? It's the Georgian version of pizza, and it's called khachapuri. Khachapuri is really good. My favorite, really, that I, like most I miss, seems like, uh, is, is uh, chicken. I can't say khachapuri is my favorite, no. Nope. And the juice of um, garlic, uh, some Georgian spices. Or bhali. It's fried up in a special way that they, they put the, uh, the stone on top of it when they fry the chicken up. Mm. And that special spice. And then you, you might eat your fingers with it. So that's called shkameruli. It's a secret. What's your favorite Eastern European booze? I like Slivovitz. You old enough to drink? No. <laughs> I'm not that much of a drinker. Nice, cool, white wine. When it's good, I like the wine in Georgia. Dry white wine, preferably. You'd buy it by the liter or by the 10 liter full. Absolutely. Do you have a favorite Eastern European band? I have to give a nod to Anches Khati. I have to give a nod to Did Gori. Huh. Wow, I'm stumped. Basiani, Adile. I don't know. Shavnabada. <laughs> it can go on, so I should stop. Dacha Bracha is awesome. I really love Lemon Bucket Orchestra. I know that they're in Toronto and in Canada, but to me, that's Eastern Europe here. And I love that. Love you. What does your band sound like? It sounds like a real mess. We sound like a lot of different things. To me, it sounds like Georgian. <laughs> Each time we rehearse, it's quite frustrating, but we love it. And at the end, we create this beautiful sound. We sound like an oral landscape of Georgia. What does Toronto sound like to you? I think Toronto sounds like the world. I think Toronto sounds like everything. Toronto sounds like way more different things. It offers you so much uh, that you kind of have to see, sit down and think about it, kind of thing. You know what I mean? What's your favorite Toronto venue? I can say that Drome is one of my favorite spots. Oh. I don't know. Rowanwood, having all these trees echoing our sound back to us. I just love going to the Budweiser stage. The best place to hear Georgian polyphony is around a table, for sure. I saw Jack White there once. It wasn't very good. <laughs> Yeah, I don't remember what was that. I think it's a Roy Thompson home because Paco de Lucia came here three times and I had to go and see him. Live or stream? Live. I prefer live. Live. Why? A million times more. Why? Because the acoustic experience, when it's streamed, that experience is the whole high frequencies and low frequencies are shut off. And so we have to experience that whole range. The thing was that we were in the office and, and hundreds of people were uh, watching us and we wanted to kind of hug them. I don't know, something, like to see them, like person to person and just say hello. What did you miss the most during the pandemic? Performing live. Being able to be with musicians. I really like to talk to people. And I think I see life moving on for me just like that, no other, no other way. Block Thursdays, live at Drome, every, oh. Block Thursdays, every Thursday at 8 p.m. At Drome. Hey, hey, hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs>